Uh, this is just to show you how uh, this bit works. Uh, we've got the uh, to the guide rod, which we just slot in the end of the. Oh, I've already uh, cut uh, the uh, bottle off, um, uh, and obviously it goes in this direction, sort of like. Well, like I've said in the instruction, um, the calf I've put it, it's got like quick release on the end of these some of these bottles. Um, you put the uh, tube down the middle, and you can screw it on like a normal bottle. You screw it on like a normal bottle and screw it off like a normal bottle. But, if you line it up, there's, there's the quick release. Uh, it'll only work, although there's four in there, it only works on one side for some reason. I've tried altering it so it works on both, but it doesn't. So if you don't, if you can't tighten it when you push it in one way, just pull it off and turn it around 180 degrees, and then you can push it back on, and then it'll tighten with just a about half a turn and uh, that's the idea of this this guide it, it holds the bottle straight you know it'll hold it straight while it goes through this guide this guide in here so it goes in this bit like so and then this bit that we've got floating about we stick that underneath the two rollers and pull it through until you've got it lined up where the, the cut finishes like so then you just hold it in your hand make sure that this uh, tube can fall because basically the, the weight of the tube is, is pulling the the bottle down to keep it keep it tight against this slip plate here um, so as you pull it through, you want to be pulling it down to aid it, aid it keeping against that uh, slip plate. And the tube also keeps it lined up because this is a, a slight angle to match the spiral of the, uh, the spiral that I'm going to cut off. So basically, when you pull, if you hold it up and just pull it down towards away from the bottle and down so basically all we do is just keep going and go until we reach the so can't uh, get it and that's it so hopefully uh, that makes it clear